I don't know whether anyone's seen the uh, recent tweet by uh, our esteemed Premier, and and I'm using that term sarcastically, obviously, um, about the fact that there's no room for, what did he say, uh, Nazis, bigots, and racists, I think that he coined the term. There was no room for Nazis, biggest bigots, and racists. Now, you could only imagine, and you could only, you know, if you put one and two together, you could see that uh, he's inadvertently speaking about um, the freedom parties that are running in this year's election for the state. And someone needs to teach this bloke what the word Nazi means. Because I'm pretty sure the Nazis were the ones who made people show their papers to be able to travel. I'm pretty sure the Nazis were the ones who segregated the community and actively segregated the community and treated one type of individual one way and one another way. I'm pretty sure the Nazis used their Gestapo to terrorize their, their, their the people of the of that country so let me get this right if the nazis were the ones who made people show their papers to go anywhere if the nazis were the ones who used the gestapo to hurt people and if the nazis were the ones who actively segregated the community i've got news for you dan andrews you're the fucking nazi you you hypocritical piece of shit! You're the Nazi. If anyone is emulating Nazi-esque type of traits right now, it's you, you four-eyed fuck, who is emulating and who has been a fucking Nazi. You backwards... How backwards is the word? How can this bloke sit there? How do these people sit there and call people that were calling for freedom, individualism, in order for people to be able to have bodily autonomy to choose what they may or may not put in their body, in order for people to be able to choose whether or not they have to take a, an experimental death jab to go to work, and they were cut off from earning a living, and you're calling people other than yourself, you psychotic Sociopath, a Nazi. You are mad. You you need to go to a fucking mental institu institution, mate. Check yourself in and fucking really speak to everyone there. If you think anyone in this world, other than yourself, <laughs> is a Nazi, a racist, or a bigot, you you lock down. The North Melbourne, you, you locked down the Flemington apartments that was full of ethnics. You locked down the fucking Flemington apartments that was full of ethnics. You didn't go lock down any places in Brighton or Chelsea or fucking Elfington or any of these upper class areas. You targeted a poor housing commission full of ethnics, and you're calling anyone other than yourself a racist, a Nazi, or a bigot. You're fucking mental. Mental. Absolutely just batshit crazy mental is what you are. And if anyone votes for this dropkick in this election, you are even more mental. I've never ever witnessed in my life a more backwards cunt than I've ever seen out of that bloke. Excuse my language. But I've never ever witnessed a more backwards, hypocrite, non-self-aware mofo in my life than that bloke there, mate. I don't know, man. They broke the mould with this bloke. They broke the mould. How do you terrorise a community for two years? Terrorise them. Lock them up. Segregate them. You created curfews when there wasn't even curfews in other states, you backwards bastard. And you're sitting there talking about the fact that anyone other than yourself is a racist, a Nazi, or a bigot. 
you psychopath. You had people walking around with cops going, where's your papers? Sound familiar, you moron? Everything stated in this video is my opinion. <laughs> but this bloke is absolutely batshit crazy. To, to put out a tweet like that. You terrorised people. You made people show their papers. You segregated the community. You, do I need to say it again? You fucking gave us a curfew. You bashed peaceful protesters. You shot at unarmed protesters who had no weapons at a distance with non with fucking potentially lethal rubber bullets. Could have hit him in the face, in the eyes. Why? Because they wouldn't leave the shrine, the place that actually symbolizes where our forefathers fought for fucking freedom. And to actually, the reason these people fought for that, everything we have that symbolizes all that, you shot them at the very place where our forefathers are represented for fighting for the very thing that these people were standing for, their own freedoms. And you sit there and... <laughs> that's, that's, that's all i got to say, man. I just saw it. I saw what he had to say. And I saw it. And my blood just started to boil, you know. Like when... You could, I could just feel that... The, 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 the internal rage just building at the fact that a bloke would actually put out something like that. At the fact that a bloke would put something out like that. If this bloke gets in, everyone needs to vote, man. I'm telling you, I don't care if you don't like to vote. I don't give a shit what your views are. Go and vote against this bastard. Because the psychopaths, the fucking Stockholm Syndrome loving fucking hypochondriac bastard psychopaths, that have kissed this guy's feet and worshipped him for two years are going to go vote for this psycho again. You need to, I repeat, you need to fucking vote in this election. Because they're going to. They're going to vote for him again. I'm telling you, you need to vote against him in this election. And people go, oh, well, it's a waste of time. Well, fucking, yeah, it, it might be a waste of time. But it's definitely a waste of time if you don't even bother and all of these psychopaths are going to go vote, vote for him anyway. Uh, anyway, I don't know. I think I'm just screw I'm just I think I'm just yelling at a quiet desperation. I don't even think it's quiet, is it? It's very loud. But uh, just this is just insane that this bloke can turn around and call and and say all of those things about and I'm pretty sure it would be freedom parties, right? I'm pretty sure that he's inadvertently speaking about freedom parties. That's what he must be doing. That's what he must be doing. So the spawn of Satan, I'm going to call him the spawn of Satan because that's what I believe this bloke is. The spawn of Satan is sitting there and <laughs> openly saying that everyone else... Anyone who would think about having a freedom-orientated type of life <laughs> and, and people that are representing that sort of stuff, because that's, that's, you know, that's what he's saying when he's talking about the Nazis, the racists, and the bigots, right? It's obviously all the freedom parties. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit, man. You know what? It, feel, it honestly feels like this doesn't, is it even, it's not even real life. It's not even a real life in terms of, what we experience on a day-to-day -day basis, ever since that godforsaken COVID hit, has almost felt like we live in this fucked up sci-fi movie, man. It's, it's just absolutely just mental that this is all happening. But it is. It is happening. And, um, yeah. I honestly, I honestly don't know where to go from here. Um, I just had to... Just express my view on the fact that this bloke would call anyone other than himself and what he represents a Nazi, a bigot, and a racist. <laughs> Man, 
He must be a he must be a textbook narcissist. You know, you know when a narcissist isn't self-aware of anything of themselves whatsoever. The whole world is the problem, and they're perfect. He must be a narcissist. The guy is a textbook narcissist. You can't be. You couldn't be any other way. There's no way you could be that. Not have any type of self-awareness of yourself whatsoever. And he has no, absolutely no self-awareness of how much of a psychopath he is. Absolute psychopath.